Well, we have been tracking Hurricane Hillary uh, over the past 24 hours, and we have seen it strengthen up a lot right now. Category four, uh, and as it heads to the northwest, about seven to 10 miles per hour. Those winds right now are 130 miles an hour, so maybe a little bit of a weakening in those winds uh, over the past 24 hours. We've seen it max about 145 uh, as of last checked. But as that advisory right now, we are going to be again seeing it move further to the north. If we were to look at a quick track here, we are expecting a general weakening by about 1 p.m. tomorrow. We are expecting it to be kind of downgrading into a category three, still relatively strong. And then as it moves further to the north through the very western parts of Mexico into that border in between California and Mexico, we are going to be seeing again by Sunday that uh, that centered of the system going to be at a category one. And then as it makes its way into southern California, expecting it to be a tropical storm at that point as it gets into Nevada, we are going to be seeing a tropical depression. So expecting a pretty rapid weakening over the weekend as we get into Sunday and Monday, but still could bring plenty of rainfall for Southern California and Southern Nevada as we are going to be seeing them in that four out of five for excessive rainfall um, over the next seven days. But the Pacific isn't the only area actually seeing activity. If we were to take a look at the Atlantic, we do see four actually systems of some sort of activity that could ramp up in the next seven days. So we are going to be tracking some more activity. And if we were to take a look, the MU Atlantic Ocean Basin Tropical Forecast of 2023 looks like they are forecasting for some more activity in the future as the hurricane season picks up. But for the ABC 17 Storm Track Insider, Sawyer Jackson.